Built-in car infotainment systems are notoriously terrible, and while there are some companies, like Tesla, who make slightly better infotainment systems, for the most part they're poorly designed and difficult to navigate. Thankfully, however, over the past decade or so, Apple and Google have built ways to take over many in-car screens, and display their own in-car infotainment systems, allowing you to use the apps that are built into your phone for listening to music, using maps, and so on. Apple's CarPlay has been the go-to for Apple users for years, and it's worked very well. CarPlay supports Apple and third-party apps and offers an easy-to-navigate interface that allows you to spend less time swiping on the infotainment system and more time focusing on the road. Curious to learn more about CarPlay? That's why I've put together this video. Here's everything you need to know about using CarPlay. If the video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I'd appreciate that support. When you first get in a car with CarPlay, you'll want to set up your phone to work with it. The way you do so will vary depending on your car, but we can still go over the basics. Note, you will need to know if your car supports wireless CarPlay or not. If it doesn't, you'll need to connect to CarPlay through a cable. And you'll need to make sure that you plug your phone into the right USB port. Many cars offer multiple USB ports, but only one of them will support working with CarPlay. Usually, the right port will have a little icon next to it that shows that it's meant to be used with your phone. If your phone supports wireless CarPlay, you'll first connect to it through your car's Bluetooth settings. You'll need to open the settings menu on your car and on your phone, then tap on the Bluetooth connection on your phone. Then, follow the in-screen instructions on both your car and on your phone. During this process, you'll be asked on your car and your phone if you want to use CarPlay. If you're using CarPlay through a wired connection, simply plug your phone into the right USB port. Then hit yes when you're asked if you want to use CarPlay. Once you're set up with CarPlay, you'll be greeted with the home screen, which is really just a big list of apps like on your iPhone. From here, you can easily dive into an app simply by tapping on it like you would on your iPhone. To the left here, you'll see your three most recently used apps, meaning that you can quickly dive into apps like your music when you're using something like a map in full screen. And when you're using an app in full screen, you can tap this button here to go to the home screen. There's an easier way to multitask on CarPlay than switching between full screen apps though, and that's using the split screen view. The split screen view basically shows windowed version of apps, so you'll see a map view and music or podcast playback controls all from the same screen. Honestly, this is the screen I live on in CarPlay most of the time, meaning that I can easily access all the settings I need to access without having to change between apps. You can access this view by swiping over to it from the home screen, or by tapping this button, which alternates between apps and this view. It works with third-party apps too, like Google Maps, Spotify, and so on. Perhaps the best way to interact with apps in CarPlay isn't by using the screen at all, it's by using Siri. You can use many of the same voice commands on CarPlay as you would on your iPhone, including using Siri to message and call people, navigate using maps, and so on. On top of using the Hey Siri command, you can also hold down this button. You can change CarPlay settings on your phone by heading to Settings, General, CarPlay. Then tap on the car that you use CarPlay with. You can see I've used CarPlay with a lot of different cars, from rentals to cars that I've tested for work. Tap on the car, then you can disable CarPlay if you want, and dive into your apps list to reorder your apps. I'm going to quickly go over using Apple Maps in CarPlay, as it's a way that most people will navigate when using CarPlay. You'll start by opening up Apple Maps and searching for a destination, or you can start the map on your iPhone before you connect to CarPlay. Then, Maps will start to map you to that location, both in the full screen view and on the split screen view. Then, you simply navigate to your location, or you can add a stop by tapping this button here. You'll be able to quickly select a category like a gas station, then you can choose an option, or you can search using your voice, or the keyboard if your car is in park. When surfacing options, maps will show things like the distance and the added time for each stop. Tap on the location to add a stop. And that's the basics of using CarPlay. Hopefully this video was helpful to you, and again, if so, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. My name is Christian, and I'll see you next time. See ya.